now let us discuss about quine mccleskey minimization technique or this can also be called as tabulation method we know that by using carnap map also we can simplify we can minimize the boolean expression but the problem with carnap map is it can accept up to five variables only so 2 3 4 up to five variables only if the expression contains more than five variables then it is not possible to simplify to minimize the expression with the help of the carnap map so in the tacation we have to go for quine mccleskey minimization technique uh, let us solve this problem f of a comma b comma c comma d equal to so sigma so sum operation so sum of product so these are the min terms uh, so first we have to represent the corresponding min terms in binary notation so we know that uh, uh, zero uh, zero is represented with the help of uh, four zeros uh, next one is represented one means binary number is 3001 next to two means two means 0010 Uh, next to five means zero one zero one, seven means zero triple one, eight means one triple zero, nine one double zero one, ten one zero one zero. Next to thirteen one one zero one, fifteen all ones. So first we have to represent the min terms in binary notation. Uh, here we have to follow a sequence of steps the first step is according to the number of ones in the corresponding binary number we have to form a table so let us see step 1 so what is step 1 according to the number of ones we have to form a table uh, here the table mainly contains three columns the first column is group the second column is uh, min term third column is uh, binary representation for the min term so binary representation for the min term so here the variables are a b c d a b c d so first we have to write for group 0 so here the group 0 contains min terms which have zero number of ones zero number of ones uh, here zero number of one mean zero number of ones means Min term is zero. Min term is zero. So min term is zero. Zero in binary notation is all zeros. So this is group zero. Next we have to write for group one. So group one contains min min terms which have single one, which have single one. If we observe two, so in two we have single one. So two means zero zero one zero. And next, if we observe <coughs> Eight, eight also contains single one. So next min term is eight. Eight means one three bull zero. Uh, yeah, eight means one three bull zero. Yeah, these are the min terms which have single one. So two and eight. Two. Ah, uh, yeah. Before that we have one also. We have one also. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. We have one also. So one two and eight. One two and eight. So what is group one? Group one contains min terms which have single one. So what is the first min term? One. So one means binary notation is three bull zero. Next we have two. Two means zero zero one zero. So one is covered. Two is covered. Next we have eight. Eight means one three bull zero. One three bull zero. So next let us write for two. So min term which contains Two ones, two ones. If we observe five, we have two ones. So five means zero one zero one. So we have two ones. Uh, next, uh, if we observe nine, so in nine also we have two ones. So nine, so nine means one double zero one, one double zero one. Next, if we observe ten, so ten also we have two ones. So ten also we have two ones. So one zero one zero. So next we have to write for group three. So what is group three? Binary number with three ones. Binary number with three ones. Here five is covered. Uh, next eight. Yeah. Uh, next this ten is also covered. 
If we observe 7, in 7 we have 3 ones. So 7 means 0 triple 1, 0 triple 1. Next, if we observe 13, so in 13 also we have 3 ones. In 13 also we have 3 ones. Double 1, 0, 1. And next, group 4. So what is group 4? Bind a number with 4 ones. So we have only one mean term that is 15. So all ones. So like this, first we have to form the table. So this is step 1. According to the number of ones, we have to group the table. Here the, here the expression contains 4 variables. So that's why we will have, we will have 5 groups from 0 to 4. Suppose if 0 is not present in the expression, then this, uh, this row doesn't arise. This row doesn't arise. Uh, then we have to write from group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4 likewise. Okay. Suppose if you don't have 1, 2, 8, then there is no need to write group 1. So group 0 means bind a number with 0 ones. Group 1 means bind a numbers with single 1. Group 2 means bind a number with 2 ones. Likewise. Next, let us do the step 2. Step 2. In step 2, what we have to do is, we have to compare groups. So group 0 is compared with group 1. Group 1 is compared with group 2. Group 2 is compared with group 3. Likewise, group 3 will be compared with group 4. So here we have to compare the binary numbers. If they differ by only one variable, then we can combine the corresponding min terms. So let us do that same. Here also we have three columns. So first column is group. First column represents group. Second column represents min term pair. Min term pair. Min term pair. Third column represents A, B, C, D. Binary representation of A, B, C, D. Binary representation of A, B, C, D. So here we have to compare group 0 with group 1. So what is group 0? In group 0 we have 0. Whereas in group 1 we have 1 to 8. So first 0 will be compared with 1. If they differ by only one variable position, then we can combine those mean terms. If we observe these two, 0, 0, same, 0, 0, same, 0, 0, same, 0, 1, we have one variable difference. So we can combine, we can combine these two mean terms. So next group 0. So we can combine these two mean terms. So here the mean term pair is 0, 1. Here the first three positions are same only. A, B, C are same only. But coming to the D, we have 0, 1. So if we have two values, then we have to write as dash. So dash is nothing but don't care. The value may be either 0 or 1. The value may be either 0 or 1. So likewise, next to compare 0 with 0 with 2. 0 with 2. Next to compare 0 with 2. So all zeros, 0, 0, 1, 0. So here also, these two variables differ by only one, one variable. That is C. So first two are 0, 0. Whereas coming to the variable, third variable, 0, 1. So 0, 1 means we have to write dash. Whereas what is the fourth one? 0. So this dash is nothing but don't care. The value may be either 0 or 1. Next we have to compare 0 with 8. 0 with 8. So if they differ by only one variable, so then only we can combine the min terms. Otherwise we should not combine them. Okay. So 0, 8. So here also they differ by only one variable. So 0, 8. They differ by only one variable. That is A variable. Remaining three positions are same only. So first two position is dash. So remaining positions 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. 0, 0, 0. Next. Here group 0 with group 1 comparison is completed. Next we have to compare group 1 with group 2. So first to compare 1 with 5, 9, 10. Next to compare 2 with 5, 9, 10. So first group is over. So next to second group. That is group 1. So compare 1 with 5. Compare 1 with 5. 1 with 5. So 3 bull 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. So they differ by only one variable. So what is, we can combine these two min terms. What is the min term pair? 1 comma 5. Min term pair is 1 comma 5. Next, 0. A is 0. Whereas what is B? 0, 1. 0, 1 means we can write as dash. Next to 0, 1. Both are same only. Both are same only. Next, 1 and 9. 1 and 9. If we compare 1 and 9, 
zero zero one one double zero one. So they also differ by only one variable. So we can combine these two min terms. So one comma nine, one comma nine, one comma nine. So first one is one. So zero one means we have to write as dash. Next remaining three portions are same. So zero zero one. So next to compare one with ten. Next to compare one with ten. So zero one difference. Next zero one difference. One zero difference. So more than one variable difference. So we can't combine those two as a pair. Okay. So we should not write one comma nine. Okay. I'm sorry. One comma ten. We should not write one comma ten. So next, next compare two with five nine ten. So two five compare two with five. If you observe here, what is the difference between two one five three? So three means there there should be more than one variable difference. Whereas here the difference should be in the powers of two only. Okay, one two four eight. The difference only. So two five. If you observe here, zero zero, zero zero, one variable. Zero one, zero zero, same. Zero one, one variable. One zero, two variables. Zero one, three variables. So more than two variable, more than one variable difference. So we can't make two five as a pair. Okay. Uh, next, uh, two ten, two ten. Yeah, two ten means difference is eight. So we can make these two as a pair. So two ten. If you observe here, two ten, zero one. As a difference, next remaining variable, remaining portion same, zero one zero, zero one zero. So co with comparison with two is over. Next we have to compare eight, eight with remaining eight five. These two are not in ascending order. Here we have to write the min terms in ascending order. But what about eight five? They are not in ascending order. So comparison is not possible. Next eight and nine, eight and nine, eight and nine means one one difference. So we can combine them. Let's uh, let's see the difference. So one 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 double zero. First two three positions are same. One double zero. First two three positions are same. What about the next one? Nine. So this is nine. Ah, uh, here we have zero. Zero one means dash. So one double zero dash. Next eight to ten. Eight to ten. Difference is two. So we can combine them. Let we can combine them. Let's see here. One three double zero. One zero one zero. So first two two positions are same. One zero. Next position dash, whereas the last position is zero. So group one with group two comparison is over. Next we have to compare group two with group three. So compare five with seven, five with seven. So only two difference. So seven minus five means two only. So there may be a possibility that uh, we can make them as a pair. So five seven. So zero one, zero one, zero one. So first two two are same. Zero one. Next. Zero one, so zero one means we can write as dash. So one one, so one. Next five with thirteen. Five with thirteen means difference is eight. So there may be a possibility. So five thirteen. Let's see five thirteen. So zero one dash one zero. Remaining are same. So dash one zero one. Five thirteen dash one zero one. Next to compare nine with seven. Nine with seven. So one zero one variable. Zero one two. Nine with seven. They are not in ascending order. So there is no need to make any comparison. Next to nine with thirteen, what is the difference? Four. So there may be a possibility. So nine with thirteen. So one, one dash zero one, nine thirteen, one dash zero one. Next compare ten with seven, ten with seven. They are not in ascending order. So no need. Next to ten with thirteen, difference is three. So there is no need, no, no need to combine them. Why? Because uh, there should be more than one variable difference. So one one same zero one one variable difference one zero zero one three variable difference. So comparison with group two with group three is over. Next we have to compare group three with group four. So seven fifteen seven fifteen. There may be a possibility. Why? Because the difference is eight. So zero one zero one means we have to write as dash. Next the remaining three are same one one one. Next to thirteen fifteen. Thirteen fifteen. There may be a possibility. Thirteen fifteen. So one one zero one. So one one dash one. One one dash one. So this is second step. If we observe here for the four variable, in the first two step we have five groups. In the second step we have four groups. Suppose in the first step if we have only three groups, then in the in the second step we will have two groups. Now let us continue for step three. So for space constraints, sir, I am erasing this portion. I am erasing this portion. Now let us do step three. So step three is also similar to step step two only. We have to compare group by group. 
group by group step 3 step 3 so here also we will have three columns group group next min term pair or we can write as min term quad so quad means we will have four four min terms here pair means we will have only two min terms so quad q u a d means it will have four uh, min terms next binary representation of a b c d a b c d so first we have to write for group zero so here we have to compare group zero with group one here we have to searches for this dash so while comparing triple zero dash in group zero with group one we have to search for the dash match it dash in same position if dash is there and if one variable difference is there then we can combine them as a pair okay so here we have to search for this dash matched one if the dash is matched here we have dash at fourth position so here also we have dash at same position as well as if there is only one variable difference then we can combine them so here we have dash at fourth position so in group one also we we need to search for the dash in fourth position fourth position there is no need to search for the remaining okay so triple zero dash triple zero dash so only one variable difference remaining are same only zero zero dash so we can combine them so here what is the cell uh, what is the min term zero one is the min term here we have eight nine here we have eight nine so zero one eight nine so first two position is different dash next the remaining positions zero zero dash zero zero dash if you observe here zero one is covered zero one is included in the min term as well as this 89 is included in the min term so we have to put tick mark here we if the min term is included then we have to put the tick mark okay next yeah here we have only uh, only one dash at the fourth position so first one is over next we have to compare 0 to with uh, remaining numbers in group 1 here we have uh, dash at the third position so search for dash at the third position so here we have dash at third position so compare these two so 0 0 dash 0 so 1 0 dash 0 yeah we can combine the, these two so here if you combine these two yeah here 0 1 is included so put the tick mark as well as 8 9 is also included included so put the tick mark next to 0 2 0 2 8 10 0 2 8 10 0 2 8 10 so here what is the difference 0 1 0 1 means we have to put the dash why because here we have that one variable difference next remaining three same 0 dash 0 0 dash 0 yeah comparison is over we have only this one with uh, 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 dash at the third position next let us consider about 0 8 so here we have dash at first position so here we have uh, two min terms where dash is at first position so dash 0 0 1 dash 0 0 0 yeah we can combine these two we can combine these two so here we have 0 8 0 8 here we have uh, here we have 1 9 so 0 8 1 9 0 8 1 9 so 0 8 1 9 so dash dash so first one is same first one is same 1 9 next one 0 0 0 1 so last one is dash so 0 0 dash 0 0 dash so these two are covered so put the tick mark there so if you observe here 210 also covered 210 also covered so we have to put the tick mark okay if you observe here here we have dash at first position we have one more min term so we need to compare 08 with 210 so these two also matched so 08 210 08 210 08 210 if you compare these two dash 0 this variable difference so dash 0 dash 0 so dash 0 dash 0 so 08 210 0 8 2 10 dash 0 dash 0 okay so group 0 with group 1 comparison is over so except 1 5 remaining min terms are included okay next we have to compare group 1 with group 2 so here the dash is at second position so in group 2 search for the uh, pair with uh, search for the binary number with uh, dash at the second position so yeah here we have uh, uh, binary number with dash at second position so compare these two 1593 so 0 dash 0 dash 
0 dash 0 1 so 1 dash 0 1 yeah we can merge them so 1 5 1 5 as well as 9 13 1 5 9 13 0 0 1 0 1 means we have to put dash next to dash 0 1 so remaining 3 are same only okay so it is included 1 5 is included so put the tick mark here so 9 13 is included so put the tick mark here okay yeah next search for the second one we have dash at the first position so dash 0 0 1 dash 0 0 1 so if you observe this one dash 1 0 1 yeah we can combine these two 1 9 5 13 1 9 5 13 1 9 5 13 if you observe here dash dash so first one is same 1 9 5, 5 13 next to dash 0 1 dash 0 1 dash 0 1 so here we have dash it here 1 9 here we have dash at first position so here here uh, here we have dash at first position this number only uh, next let's search for uh, 210 so in 210 we have uh, dash at first position dash at first position so dash at first position we can compare with 513 compare 210 with 513 so dash 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 0 1 1 variable yeah more than one variable difference so we can't make this uh, those as a we can't combine those uh, next 89 89 we have dash at fourth position here we don't have uh, dash at fourth position next 8 to 10 we have dash at third position uh, here here also we have dash at third position so can we combine these two 8 10 5 7 let's see here 1 0 2 0 1 yeah more than one variable difference so we can't combine them okay we can't combine them next group one is over here 5 7 is not covered okay next let's focus on uh, uh, second group so here we have 0 1 dash 1 0 1 dash 1 so in the third uh, uh, position we have dash so here also in the third position we have dash so compare 5 7 with 13 15 5 7 with 13 15 so 1 1 dash 1 yes we can uh, we can combine these two so 5 7 5 7 13 15 so 0 1 means we have to put dash next to 1 dash 1 so 1 dash 1 1 dash 1 so first one is over next to 5 13 we have dash at first position so dash 1 0 1 dash triple 1 yeah we can also combine these two so 5 13 7 15 so 5 13 7 15 5 13 7 15 dash 1 dash 1 dash 1 dash 1 dash 1 dash 1 so group 0 with group 1 is over next group 1 with group 2 is over next group 2 with group 3 is over okay next next let, let's let's uh, yeah for space constraints uh, i'm erasing this portion i'm erasing this portion now let's check whether any other comparison is uh, uh, needed or not needed or not so if you observe here here we have dash at first and fourth position so we don't have such pair here next dash at first to third we don't have such combination dash at first and fourth we don't have such combination dash at first and third we don't have such combination if dashes are matched then only we can proceed for the comparison next here also we can't compare them so all the steps are over so with this we can conclude that uh, uh, here all the terms are covered if you observe here 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 2 3 all the min terms are covered there is a tick mark at the end of every binary number okay so there is no problem here if any binary number if any pair is not included then we have to consider that as a prime implicant okay so now these terms will becomes the prime implicants 0 1 8 9 means 0 0 0 0 means what is the combination b bar c bar so b bar c bar is prime implicant next 0 d so 0 d means b bar d bar b bar d bar b bar d bar if you observe here 0 8 1 9 is similar to 0 1 8 9 only so we can strike off this one why because this is already covered if you observe this one 0 8 2 10 is similar to 0 2 8 10 so there is no need to consider this so we can uh, strike off this so next 1 5 9 3 1 5 9 13 means 0 1 so 0 1 means c bar d so this is uh, b bar c bar this is b bar d bar this is c bar d here 1 9 5 13 is similar to 1 5 9 13 so we can strike off this one 
next to 5 7 13 15 if you observe this one 1 1 so 1 1 means bd 1 1 means bd next to 5 13 17 15 is similar to 5 7 13 15 so we can strike off this one so here the prime implicants are here our major aim is we have to find out prime implicants essential prime implicants as well as we need to check whether that uh, solution is correct or not with the help of uh, four variable Karnoff map here wh what are the prime implicants so b bar c bar b bar c bar plus next one b bar d bar b bar d bar plus next one c bar d c bar d next one next one b d b d next we have to find out essential prime implicants we have to find out essential prime implicants in order to find out essential prime implicants what we have to do is uh, here uh, uh, we have to for space here b bar c bar is nothing but uh, we need to have min terms also so for space constraints i am erasing this portion b bar c bar means the min term is the min term is 0189 0189 next b bar d bar means b bar d bar means the min term is 0 to 8 10 0 to 8 10 next c bar d means the min term is 15913 15913 whereas bd means the min term is the min term is 571315 so 0 1 8 9 next 0 2 8 10 next 15913 571315 now let us find out the essential prime implicants for space constraints uh, i am erasing this portion let us find out essential prime implicants in order to find out essential prime implicants we have to form a table so here what are the min terms b bar c bar is the min term for b bar c bar essential prime implicants for b bar c bar uh, what is the min term 0189 next b bar d bar for b bar d bar 0 to 8 10 0 to 8 10 0 to 8 10 next for c bar d for c bar d 15 9 13 15 9 13 next for b d for c bar d 15 9 13 for b d 5 7 5 7 13 15 5 7 13 15 next we have to write the min terms we have to write the min terms so here the min terms are here the min terms are 0 0 next 1 next to 2 next to 5 next to 7 next to 8 next to 9 next to 10 next to 13 and the last one is 15 15 uh, if the min term is included then simply we have to put cross mark into so here c 0 is included so put into 1 is included put cross mark 8 is included put cross mark 9 is included so put cross mark next to 0 to 8 10 so 0 2 8 10 next 1 5 9 13 so 1 5 9 13 1 5 9 13 1 5 9 13 next 5 7 13 15 5 7 13 15 next we have to check the corresponding min term column if a column contains single cross mark then we can say that that is essential prime implicant if you observe here we have two cross mark we have two cross mark if you observe here we have a single cross mark if you observe the seventh column we have single cross mark if you observe this one tenth one we have single cross mark if you observe fifteenth one we have single cross mark so this is nothing but this combination is nothing but b bar d bar b bar d bar plus plus if you observe this combination b d b d so these two are the essential prime implicants so the solution may be b bar d bar plus b d b plus b d or second solution is b bar d bar plus b d plus so here what are the remaining two 
बी बार डी बार एज वेल एज बी डी दीज टू आर एसेंशियल प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट्स आर बी बार सी बार आर सी डी सो वी मे गेट दिस एज द सोल्यूशन आर दिस एज द सोल्यूशन नाउ लेट एज सिंप्लीफाई फॉर द कार्न ऑफ मैप वेदर इट इज करेक्ट आर नॉट ओके लेट एज चेक दैट वन सो फॉर स्पेस कंस्ट्रेंट्स आई एम अरेजिंग दिस पोर्शन I'm erasing this portion. Let's check whether our solution is correct or not. So we have two solutions here. So four variable Karnov map, four variable Karnov map. So A B C D, A B C D. So the possible combinations are zero 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 one 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 zero, zero 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 one 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 zero. So zero one. Two three, next to four five six seven, next to eight nine ten eleven, next to twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen. So here, what are the min terms? Zero one two five seven eight nine ten thirteen fifteen thirteen fifteen. So these are the min terms. These are the min terms. Now we have to do the grouping. Let us do the grouping. Let us do the grouping here. Let us do the grouping. Let us do the grouping. So in order to cover these ones, so here we have opposite cells. So this is compulsory group. Okay. So what is the min term here? Zero zero. So B bar. What is the zero zero one zero? Second zero is common. So B bar. So here second zero is common. So D bar. So B bar D bar. So this is compulsory group. So next, in order to cover this one, in order to cover these two ones, in order to cover these two ones, the group is this one. The group is this one. So what is the group here? One one. So one one means B. One one means D. So B D B D. So this is compulsory. So these two are the essential prime implicants. Next, in order to cover this one, what we can do is we can make these four cells as one group. If we make these four cells as one group, then the Then that uh, term is C bar D, zero one. So zero one means what? Zero one means C bar D. Here we have not C D. So here we have C bar D. So we will get this solution. Or what we can do is we can make instead of this one, we can make these these opposite uh, four cells as a group. So if we make th uh, those as a group, zero 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 means second zero is common B bar. Zero zero means first zero is common B bar C bar. So we will get this solution. so with this we can conclude that our solution is correct only so uh, qm method means we have to find out prime implicants essential prime implicants and then after that let's check whether our solution is correct or not with the help of the corresponding karnov map in the next video we will see one more example on the qm method